Have you all ever wondered what a Metroid game would be like on Virtual Boy? We're too bad, cause Wario's taking over! <laughs> I'm actually genuinely surprised we never they try they never try making a especially with the whole visor setup of virtual boy that they... i want to ask because it's something i never thought too deeply about unless we answered it in a previous video what is the automatic pause thing that happened up in the beginning there it was mostly there as a means to make sure that you don't keep your eyes glued onto the freaking thing for like an hour or so look at that pre-rendered wario wow yeah no it's like this is like the first 3d rendered Wario i can think of off the top of my head but i'm back to <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Virtual Boy Wario Land. I mean, the title pretty much says it all, so... <laughs> okay, never mind. Do you know what that is? What is that? That's a Game Boy camera printed out picture of, like, putting... Someone putting, like, a Wario figurine in, like, a little biplane. And that's what that was. Blow it up. Oh, who's he gonna blow up? This guy, because he sticks out from the rest. <laughs> so, uh, uh, oh, James, so what are we doing today? Well, today, Wario's taking a sweet old vacation down in the Amazon River. The Amazon? Yep, with the great famous Amazon ducks. And the great Amazon beavers, who's just swimming oh. on by. <laughs> I thought he was carrying, like, a and, sharp oh, stick in his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never... Yuck! Yeah. Oh, man, I was having such an awesome dream, too. I was being married to my money. My bath isn't until next Tuesday, Can't What the... What's going on in the background? What are those? Good thing that Beaver's little prank woke Wario up, because he's just because he, he out in the distance he sees some random masked goons making off with some treasure. Now, here's something to be quickly noted: is I would almost say as a precursor to the 3DS, the Virtual Boy allowed for a certain like depth of like different sprites being rendered, and they would like appear faded or different like saturations in the background to keep track of it all since we're playing this via an emulator everything's going to be more or less the same brightness which could lead to some confusion but james knows this game backwards and forwards that and honestly it's going to be less of an eye stream because yes bye bye. You're, you're you're not seeing this in the, in the ever infamous black and red you're seeing it in black and white i may consider yeah. that for my second run though because uh, ladies and gentlemen for this i am going to be doing two runs of this game where wario falls down the pit bye. why me and we'll explain why that is necessary <coughs> in a bit. Uh, first off, since it's been such a long while, <coughs> there you are, Icky. What, yes. what, what, what manner of weight do you have on the Virtual Boy and/or of the Wa? Uh, all I know is that it gave people really bad headaches, and it it probably like fits over your face really uncomfortably, being just like a giant hunk of plastic. Yeah, like a nose holder. It, it needed like a rubber. It really needed like some sort of rubber grip or something. Also, why is Kirby the empty block? Oh yeah, I guess I didn't notice that. Well, I mean, well, well that, that, that was a carryover from Wario Land One, where the they all had block, the faces had blocks on them. Yeah. Though I will admit, I do like the sprite quality of this game, despite being in like complete black and white. It kind of feels like a step between the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance, believe it or not. One thing that's sort of often under under that's often understood about the Virtual Boy is that, for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much Nintendo's first. Actually, te unless we're counting the Game Boy Advance, also their only 32-bit system, which is why wow. the sprite work for the likes of Warrior is so freaking impressive. It looks Indeed. really nice, really crisp. Oh. So here's the big game plan I have for Virtual Boy Wario Land. There's technically two runs you can do in this game. You have a you have your first run where you're just going through the motions, and then the second one, which is essentially harder. Now, what I'm going to be doing for my first run here is I'm going to pretty much follow the exact same logic I did with when doing uh, Wario Land Super Mario Land 3 a little while ago. I am pretty much going for every single possible coin I can get my grubby little hands on. Oh, is it, now is it now is the is the is the limit we need to reach as steep as it was? Oh wow, look at that! Eat your heart out. Hey, it's mute muds. Sonic, whatever that was. Sonic Utopia, whatever. I was gonna say, is the, is the total we need to reach as steep a price as it was in uh, Wario Land One? About as steep, if not a little steeper. Ah! Oh boy. And actually, I will say, unlike Wario Land, I'm actually not gonna give too much of a crap about it reaching that uh, reaching that quota. I'm just gonna go with whatever I can get. Now. Every, throughout every level of this game, you'll actually find come across these treasures, which are going to be required to unlock that um, big vault that Wario was about to uh, open up until the treasure said, Ah, scary man, run away! Right, so we need to capture it. He smells. And Escape. So, so like you said, like one treasure every level, we need to try and get all the treasures in the game. Yep, however, that being said though, this oh. game is actually rather... Um, 
this game kind of treats and treats its end goal a little strange. Like, there's technically two things you could do to properly beat the game. You can either go for as much moolah as possible, or you can try to go for every treasure, every single piece of treasure possible. If you do decide to go for all the treasures, there's literally next to no purpose to be really grabbing all the coins. Because what's the secondary like uh, resource we need to manage? The treasures. Well, no, no, but 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 what's the other like big category for the treasure itself in the lower right? Uh, keys. Time. Ah, oh, that's right, time. You said you have to do this like as fast as possible in order to like get the other thing. Right. So getting the normal ending in Virtual Boy Warrior Lane primarily requires just to get as much moolah as physically possible. Hey, Mr. Beaver. If you're gonna go, for, if you're gonna go for all the treasures, though, then you have a different goal in mind, in that you want to go for time. All right. So, uh, which one of you losers wants to pick my first ball? Uh, middle to the left. Okay. This one. Wow. Nice. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. The luck of the Iki. Nice. Oh yeah, and also because I sort of blazed through real quick, you can actually choose like how you want to how you want to place your bets. You want to go for ten times the amount of coins that are on your on the pot, or maybe three oh. times if you want to play it safe. Ah, uh, ten times the amount of coins would be incredible. Oh my gosh. Um, Celie, wh which one do you think we should go for? Uh, uh third one. Third one. Okay. No. Uh, oh. it was just, it was just with feet. <laughs> I hate you, you rat. No. Goodness uh, me, relax. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'll, I'll be back later, then. Uh, yeah, well, see, oh, come on. on now. I say go for the... I say go for the second one. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, it was only... Oh, he looks so it, sad. Only. Sorry. But, but in all seriousness, I, uh... Standing up is not helping my fatigue, so... So you can just sit back down, then. Want, do you want to just take a rest? Do you want to just take a rest, or keep, uh, keep holding in there? Uh, I'll be back in, like, 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. We'll keep the seat warm for you. Uh, do you, do you want me to just keep the recording going? Just keep the yes, audio please. going, just for consistency's sake. Okay, Don't even uh, worry now. We're gonna be at this for a little while. Oh, if I'm looking at this right... Okay, I'll be back in half hour. See you guys. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Right. okay. Yeah. yes. Now, if yeah, I'm looking ahead. at this right, we're moving upwards yeah. the entire time, yeah? Yep. It's... Oh, yeah, we gotta climb back out of this hole. Yeah, no, we, like, that, that trap, that pretty much, like, dropped us real deep into the cesspit of the underworld. Mm -hmm. It's not Undertale. No one say it's Undertale. I'm not gonna claim it. I mean, I was gonna say it was Metroid wah, 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 Dread wah, before wah, Metroid wah, Dread. Wah, 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 wah. I guess I can see it be Metroid Dread as well. Oh, look at that, yeah. Ooh, uh, we weekend. actually, you know, we were, you know what, uh, Icky? You know, we, you could probably weigh in on this. Uh, have you, because since it sounds like you have been playing Dread as well, we were talking about this. I beat the game. What would, correct. Okay, so yes. Now, more more bearing on the situation that we were going to bring up. Ooh, hidden what block. Would your thought, what would your thoughts be on a Mercury Steam made Wario Land? As long as they get proper credit, I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah. This is we are we are unfortunately recording that in the middle of that whole slight debacle. Oh wait, there's a debacle going down. Basically, apparently, a handful of the devs at Mercury Steams weren't credited in the credits for Dread. In the really? Hey, yep. That. That seems a bit odd to like. Was was it like time or Was there like, was there a purposeful like campaign against not having them included? Or was it like a time constraint? Like, oh, we can only fit so many people in the credits. Or if I heard it correctly, it's more of a case that Mercury Steam themselves had a policy that if they're working with like a like a proper team, that they're mm -hmm. only being like the second half in a sense. Then uh, they wouldn't credit any of their. Uh, they had they had uh, to have staff. been involved in the project from day one. No, they would have had to be like the head developers or whatever. Ah, oh, that's. Ooh. That's like I don't know. That seems. Mm, don't so know. I will say real quick. I'm terribly sorry for if it seems yeah, like my speed running it. mentality is literally on overdrive at the very moment. Because if you know how to play this game properly, like you could literally blaze through it faster than even Mario can. I'm, I was gonna say, considering what considering what's happening and considering the, your plan to marathon this sucker, I say no, go for it. Just like yeah. show this game off, because yes, we're because oh, it's like which actually speaking of which, first and foremost, this time Wario has an actual run button. Like you could just run run normally like this. Ground pound like this. Just by pressing. Do his down. little usual shoulder march like this. Oh. And he can hold down the L. You can hold down the L and R button to run, which is oh. honestly pretty nice. Well, I, I like that. It gave. It basically gives you the toggle of Jet Wario all the time. Exactly. Or you know, it's kind of like how in Wario Land 4 you had a run button. 
Yeah. I mean, you, you call that a run button. I just call that fucking turn, like, charge. Turn off the safety brakes button. <laughs> the going balls to the wall. The going fast button. Also, we have a fire breathing sea horse hat? Sea dragon thing, yeah. Sea dragon warrior, which is pretty much the dragon power from virtual, from the, from Super Mario Land 3 brought back. Only yep. this time you actually have direct control over it. So, like, you want to let out this whole stream, like, whenever you feel like, just push the button. If you don't want to keep streaming, just let go. Uh, hold up. Did I hear that right? Did you say Super Mario Land 3? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Virtual Boy Wario Land is the official sequel to Wario Land Super Mario Land 3 for the Game Boy. Oh? One of my greatest achievements. No, 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 Logan. Look, guys, look. The head of Athena uh, is my least sold game. Logan, you're wrong. Uh, Everyone knows that Wario's greatest achievement was Wario Land 4. Classic video game console. <laughs> so, oh, God, uh, gosh, my stomach. Oh, and there actually is, and there actually is one other neat uh, feature. I don't think we're going to be able to get to that power up until maybe next level. But James was telling me that there's also a really neat uh, mechanic in this game with how the hat system works. Uh, yes, there are actually two hats in this game that you can literally combine together, a la in, like Kirby sixty four styled. Yeah. Ooh. And what would that be like? It more or less turns Wario into a near indestructible god of destruction. Oh. Even more so than Bull Wario here. So I see we got a Viking hat, we got a Sea Dragon hat. Yeah. What else do we got? There's one more we'll get later, but it, but yeah, actually now I think about it, it's kind of a bummer that Bull Wario can't combine with anything. Nope, like Bull Wario, like he still has his traditional shoulder barge and ground pound technique, but again, the the big like mixer up or power up we'll get later can more or less give us the ground pound, so it does kind of make the Bull Wario a little <laughs> obsolete by then. Like the most you're gonna miss out on is Wario's traditional shoulder barge. Right. So. Okay. Uh, so, um, let's think about anything else. Um, yeah, go for it. Uh, Hype, you, you set it up this time. Um, go with the last one. Don't. Oh. One off. All of you are disgraces. You are close. Oh, well. Honestly, though, I've tested that before. If you're able to get two successful runs with, with, the, ten, with the ten times, like the... Oh, it'll max you out. It'll literally max out, like, immediately. Do you think we need to start pulling some Wario moves from Wario Land 1, James? What do you uh, what do you mean by that? Safe stating. <laughs> I mean, I could if I want to, but I mean to be fair, the only reason why I'm not going to worry too much about safe states this time around is well, even back uh. that you didn't really do back then is because all the endings you can get like the, regardless of what like like results you do get, all the endings do have their own merit to them. Like the very like the worst ending of them all, I'd argue is the funniest. <laughs> fair. I mean for <laughs> For starters, it removes all challenge just to save state every 20 seconds. We're not save state every 20 it's more so for the gambling purchase purposes. Yeah, but who cares? <laughs> I'd argue it's your fault for wanting to compulsively gamble all your money away. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Dude, you, dude, you, dude, you should have seen us though in the Warrior Land one. Not even with the, not even before we cheated. Like we were, we were rolling in it for a little bit there. Yeah, just uh, now I just say that it's like Wario does not encourage gambling unless you're me. Unless you gamble at my place, in which case gamble your hearts can weigh. Oh, oh, I guess uh, also real quick, I guess it goes without saying that hearts function the same way here as they did in Wario Land one. You yep. collect a hundred of them and you get an extra life. And uh, okay. if you're going to be playing this game on the second quest, first of all, good luck with that. Secondly, you're going to need all the lives you can get. Yeah. Yep. More on that later. Because even though this is a short game, it doesn't. It's not afraid to pull punches. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh yeah. So by the way, because this is a proper sequel to, Ver to a Warrior Lancer Mario Land Three, it should be known that the enemies you'll be going through are a lot more dangerous and wacky, but just as funny. Hi. Ouch. Okay, so it just kind of spooks them for a bit. So let me look. I imagine this is why it had to be on 3D hardware. I mean, yeah. I, I, so okay. So let's talk about that for a little bit. So um. So yeah, this was for the Virtual Boy, which arguably only had, like, maybe, like, a couple... Two games. Yeah, like, actually, like, a couple viable games. Uh, and the sad thing is that Virtual Boy Wario Land, out of a lot of them, is the most viable. So much so that I've said it before in the last commentary, like, this game desperately needs a remake. Yeah, like, on yeah. an actual console people want to touch. Uh, and with color! And with color. Weren't they color. considering remaking this on the 3DS? I I know that was like some sort of insider rumor that was spawned like a little while ago, but whether that's still legit or not remains to be seen. I mean, I thought they. I think they. Jason Voorhees chainsaw piranha. Yes, actually. Oh my God, you're right. Yeah, but um, otherwise, I think they kind of. I mean, I'm, I want to say the 3DS is almost like soft abandoned by Nintendo at this moment. 
It is. Yeah. No, it's totally abandoned. I mean, if there if they did have any more projects they were going to be making for it, they'd probably migrate to the to, they're migrating it to the Switch now. Like, which again, if Wario Land was going to be one of those games that they were considering, that could potentially mean a Switch Wario Land remake, which I would be one hundred percent for. I'd be up for it. Yeah. Uh, so long as they also include Mario Clash as a bonus. Because, because, yeah, because, because, looking at that, the other, um, so the other games that we got on the Virtual Boy, which shouldn't take us long, there are only like twenty of them. There was 3D Tetris, which I did not touch. Uh, there was Jack Brothers, which I think we covered here on this channel a long time. Uh, ago. Jack Brothers, we did cover for a look at, which again is still hilariously the very first Shimagami Tensei game that came to the West, <laughs> where you played it all, where you played as all of our favorite Hee Ho and Jack people in a little 3D platformer. Hee -ho! Uh, then there Actually, was... Actually, it wasn't a it wasn't a platformer, it was a, uh, it was a maze, it was like a maze-like puzzler. Oh, right, I remember that, these all their powers. Ironically, Jack Frost is probably the worst of the three characters to play as. No, no, I think, it, we liked, uh, Ripper, I think, or, 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 uh, J the, what was the Jack, was it just Jack-O-Lantern? Pyro-Jack? There was Jack Frost, uh, Jack-O-Lantern, and I know they, and then there was the Jack Skeleton guy, who I suppose is, is supposed to be, like, legitimately Jack the Ripper. Yes, but I think they, I think they changed his name for, you know, censorship. Probably. Censorship. Okay, let's see what else we had here. There was another Tetris game called V Tetris. Teleroboxer, uh, Virtual Bowling, Virtual Fishing, Virtual League Baseball. A I know one of the games actually had Nestor of Nintendo Power fame in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nestor's Funky Bowling. And another one of them was, of all things, Icky, a licensed Waterworld game based on the movie. <laughs> Which, honestly, fittingly enough overpriced, uh, kind of mediocre at the time <laughs> film on an over-budgeted, mediocre game console. Did it cost $300 million to produce? Yeah. <laughs> but so much stuff. But, uh, and then, and then yes. Uh, now, what was Mario Clash? Because I don't recall that one. Mario Clash, for all intents and purposes, is pretty much a 3D Mario Brothers sort of game. It's essentially oh. like a score attack, really. Or I think I remember that out. now. Yeah, I, 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 I think you remember showing that one, Brian. Yeah, James, where, like, you had to tell Oh! Me. Baby! The golden chicken! My pet hen's gonna love this! Oh, that's right, wasn't Robert, there actually... He does have a hen, doesn't he? Yes, yeah, he does. The sequel. One with massive knockers. Whatever happened to this chicken? I was to say, wait a minute, wasn't there a Mario Clash micro game and a WarioWare game? Yes, there was. Yep. In fact, in the original. And it returned for WarioWare Gold. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember now you have to throw the shells in the back and forth. Okay, uh, you go next, Icky. Uh... Far left. Far, far left. Die! Uh, Jesus, I, Icky, that's two for two! Don't jinx it. Icky. Icky, I love you. Will you marry me? <laughs> I love you too, Wario, but only in a platonic way. You do this one, James. Alright, and uh, actually, fun little details. Like, when you hold down the charge button and you're not moving, Wario just, he just he's ready. That he's got anchor arms. arms. I love that, I'm not gonna lie. And then release! <sighs> Oops. Oh, oh close. How much did we lose? Half! Uh, yeah, you you do lose half, but let's be real here. In the in something like this, you will mo you will win more than you will lose, assuming yes, you're you able win. to win in the first place. Uh, who's next, me? Uh, yeah. you go next, hype. Um, did you did, was the third one the last one you picked? No, he, yeah, I he don't picked all, so. he picked the yeah he picked the third one the last one. What are the odds it's gonna be the third one bad twice in a row? It was the second one a second time in a row. Curse. Oh man. Well. I mean, I mean, oh. look at it this way. I, I, if you do at least win, win that whole thing once, you at least win more than you came here with. Oh yeah, no, no, we absolutely started. Yeah, we we, we have more than more than double. So into the also, uh, pay attention to where that beaver is making his notes. That is literally how many levels we have to go up to in order to beat the game. Mm. Okay, well, yeah, it looks we're... like we're about to approach our first boss. Oh. Yep. Which, speaking of which, uh, let's go ahead and knock that sucker out right now. So who's our first challenger of the day? The first challenger is... whatever this thing is. A robot head? Oh yeah, everyone has like... It, think of them like the eagle doors from Mario 2 or something where like we need to get through this thing first. Or Birdo, I guess. Oh, so once we defeat him we have to fight the door over there. Yep. Or, or no, 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 well, I mean like we, we'll be able to enter and fight the boss proper. Wow. It, it, oh, oh it's a... okay, so it's a boss guard. Yeah. Light Ooh. Screen. Fancy 3D. <gasps> wow. He's all the way over there. Yeah, he looks like a shrink compared to me. I've got my little guy. How about you go home to your mommy? Uh-oh. Also, be careful because that spike ball on his head is literally no joke. You will immediately go back to small warrior if you get hit. Oh, he's coming in. Ah! 
<laughs> like that. Oh, and I guess if you get hit as small Wario, you die. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty much classic Mario, Super Mario Brothers logic all over again, which is something. I mean, is it? I don't know whether to feel like that's something Wario Land should have avoided or not, because it kind of makes sense. But so you can't even shoulder barge as name? this little Wario. Alright, wait for him to. Oh, jeez, careful. That was a close one. Yeah, was, uh, I, I ask was again, gonna... do Go these ahead. boss enemies actually have names? Uh, this one is named Dinosaur Fish. Dino <laughs> Fish? The, the, the names are a little simplistic to the fact to the point where I think by the end it's, isn't it just Devil Face is his name? Uh, the, the final boss we'll be facing is a literal Demon Head. Demon mm. Head is his name. That was there. There you go. Clash at Demon Head, and it's down. Clash that just, clash. And just like in the first game, you gotta make a mad dash to collect <laughs> money. Money, 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 money. Delicious golden trinkets. I could get it all if I had stepped on my shoulder barge again. Just saying. Yes, you could have, but the n developers couldn't fit that part into the game. Yeah! <laughs> he looks like a little gremlin, get out of here. I still made off like a bandit that day! Yeah, we I mean, night. Here. I mean, whatever it is down here. Well, let's get on out of here. So, yeah, with with that, we're already a third of the way through the game, so yeah, not a very long game. You know what you're doing. You mean a fourth. fourth yeah, well, I know third. what I'm doing, I can beat this in like uh, an hour and a half, tops. Yep. Maybe less if I'm, if I'm just ignoring the coins and going straight for the treasures. Well, I figured part of that is because they need to make the game short because of uh, how... Because of the strain <laughs> I've never of seen using that. That's adorable. Aw, oh, shucks. Right, here we go. Oh, mamma mia. Yeah, I think mama it's mama Logan's mia. turn next. Uh, okay, I say two. Two? Oh. Your closet was three. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm gonna... Uh, it's my Luigi. Icky, can talk. you save us? Uh, Please, Icky, I don't, I don't your magic. Up. The magic, Iki. The magic. Uh, mm, uh, it's, it's gambling. That one right there. What's what? That, the, the, the middle left. Middle left, okay. Oh, Your luck well. ran out. I no longer love you. Okay, that's oh, fine. Mario. I'm not, I wasn't even ready for a commitment ship yet, so... 